Acid reflux is when stomach acid flows into the esophagus, the tube that connects the mouth and the stomach. It produces a burning sensation or mild pain in the chest or upper abdomen, which is commonly referred to as heartburn. Usually, a muscle called the lower esophageal sphincter keeps a tight seal between the stomach and the esophagus. But if this muscle weakens or doesn't close off the opening properly, stomach acid can leak back into the esophagus. This is the reflux in acid reflux. The lining of the esophagus then becomes irritated. So what causes acid reflux? For most people, it's eating acidic, fatty, or spicy foods. Common trigger foods include tomatoes, coffee, alcohol, and chocolate. Foods that take longer to digest can cause the stomach to produce more acid, and fatty foods can have a relaxing effect on the lower esophageal sphincter. Certain medications, like ibuprofen, can also cause acid reflux. Ibuprofen, naproxen, and aspirin are all non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, or NSAIDs. Prolonged use of NSAIDs can irritate the lining of the stomach and esophagus, leading to heartburn. Acid reflux, or heartburn during pregnancy, is usually brought about by hormone changes and pressure on the stomach as the baby grows. It's most common during the second and third trimesters. Heartburn can also be a symptom of medical conditions such as a hiatal hernia. A hiatal hernia is when part of the stomach protrudes through the diaphragm and into the chest cavity. This can weaken the lower esophageal sphincter. Larger hiatal hernias can cause a backup of food and stomach acid that irritates the esophagus and causes acid reflux. Acid reflux can happen every once in a while as an acute response to food, stress, or hormone changes. But it is also a symptom of a chronic condition called GERD, or gastroesophageal reflux disease. Around 20% of Americans suffer from GERD. Learn more about the anatomy, physiology, and pathology of the digestive system with Visible Body Web Suite.